In a go-around, should you raise the wheels first or retract the flaps? This time in the ABS hangar, go around, flaps first or landing gear? In a go-around or balked landing, should you retract the flaps first or the landing gear? When you retract the flaps, should you stop in the approach or half flaps position? Or should you simply put the flaps all of the way up? These are common questions that come up in training and are frequently in online discussions. What's the definitive answer? To find out, I conducted an experiment in the ABS Air Safety Foundation's A36. Come fly with me. All right, we're going to demonstrate the drag created by various devices to see which would be the first that should be retracted in a go around. Now, the way we're going to do that is to slow the airplane down to about 120 knots. So in a clean configuration, that's going to take us somewhere, it's going to require somewhere in the 16 and a half inches of manifold pressure range. I don't be, I want to be below One, two miles northeast of our airport. flap extension speed, maximum flap extension speed. So I'm going to come back to 16 inches of manifold pressure. So departure uh, Piper 9568 Charlie. And the airplane should stabilize at about 120 knots. Line at uh, 9,500. Cherokee 68 Charlie, we're shot apart to radar contact. Stay altitude. Uh, 68 Charlie, level 2500, heading 05. Right. Cherokee 68 Charlie, Roger. 120 knots. One navigation first. All right, now, to begin the demonstration, I'm going to extend the landing gear. Gear's coming down. One, two, three, green, no red. And we'll see how much deceleration is created November. from the drag of the landing gear. German Airport. We started at 120, so we've lost 10 knots. Approach, Archer 2229 Yankee, checking in 7,000. November 2229 Yankee, what's up, Roger? What's up, Senator 3016? 20 knots of airspeed loss from the drag of the landing gear. Push out departure, Caravan November 1, Quebec, off Stearman Field, direct Rockney. 25 knots, the rate of deceleration is decreasing. In other words, the airplane is reaching a stable indicated airspeed. And BFR 1 Quebec. November 0 Victor. Or a nice smooth air with altitude hold, so that's helping us quite a bit. And it looks like Down. the landing gear drag gives us about. A no factor on the traffic, it's 32 knots of airspeed loss. So I'm going to advance the power to accelerate back up to 120 knots and retract the landing gear. Gear's coming up. Gear up, no in transit. So I'm going to start at the same indicated airspeed so the same conditions for the test apply. Uh, we'll look. All right, 120 knots. Now, I'm going to repeat the test by extending full flaps. The gear is up, full flaps coming down. And we'll see what the drag effect of the full flaps is relative to the gear. Now, of course, we'll have some pitch change. The autopilot's bringing it back up. Contact tower, good day. Well, for the visual. To level flight. One zero zero six, doesn't it? Morning, which top approach November sixty six lane out. Started at one twenty. Have echo, and if we could. there's one hundred twenty knots of airspeed loss. Go hold whatever you need us to do. November sixty six lane out. Which top approach? Which altimeter three zero one six six. Back vectors. How long do you need to burn fuel? 
probably about 10, 15 minutes, uh, 6 lane alpha. 90 knots. Heading. heading, 6 lane alpha. November 1, Quebec, contact Kansas City Center, 120.2, good day. 40.2, thanks for your help, welcome back. Twitch is out of pressure, sky 121, Bravo heading 050, passing 2600. 85, so we've lost 35 knots of indicated airspeed, it's still decelerating. 130, vectors for the climb. All right, 130 for the climb, altitude, my discretion, 121, Golf Bravo. November 1, Golf Bravo, what altitude you plan on working at? Uh, for the cruising altitude, 3,500, 121, Golf Bravo. November 1, Golf Bravo, Roger, maintain BFR 3,500, and there's one navigation. 82, the rate of deceleration is decreasing. Navigation for pocket. 80 knots. 3,500, 121, Golf Bravo. And we stabilize at about 79 knots. So we lost 30 knots of speed from gear extension. We lost 40 knots of airspeed from flap extension. Full flaps create much greater drag than landing gear extension. The experiment suggests retracting flaps before retracting the landing gear to remove the most drag and to begin acceleration and climb more quickly. But this raises another question. Should I retract the flaps part way to approach or half flaps first, then retract the landing gear, and finally retract the flaps the rest of the way? Or should I simply move the switch to bring flaps all of the way up without pausing at the approach or half flaps position, then retract the landing gear? First, let's look in another video. And let's check how long it takes for the flaps to retract from the full down to the up position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a very gradual flap retraction, smooth, and no dumping or sudden loss of lift during the flap retraction process. Because you have to pull flap switch out in order to get over a stop to go down both to the approach condition and to the full flap position in this airplane. But in order to retract the flaps, you don't have to pull it out. You can slap up the flap handle. And this was done by design to reduce the workload of flap retraction. The available guidance from Beach confirms all this. The original Beach handbooks and owner's manuals do not mention balked landings or go-arounds. There are no balked landing or go-around checklists in the pilot's operating handbooks for Bonanzas until the V-35, Model 36, and later Model F-33As, and none in Barron's until the B-55. In POHs that do include a balked landing checklist, all agree on two points. Flaps should be retracted before the landing gear, and the flap switch should be moved to the full up position without pausing at approach or the half flaps condition. This is true for models with an approach flap pre-select as well as those without. There we have it, the definitive answer. From beach recommendations, backed by experiments, in a go-around, the correct sequence is command flaps fully up first, then retract the landing gear. There's much more to learn about your Beechcraft in the ABS Learning Center, free to ABS members. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.